lovely students welcome back to my youtube channel galib's english school if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe like and share don't forget to hit the bell icon down below for all the updates in today's video i'm going to talk about life in the uk test chapter four chapter four is all about british history so here we go question number one is where did the first farmers come from we have got four options southwest europe Southeast Europe, Northeast America, Northwest Asia. So, if we talk about these first farmers, where did they come from? They came from Southeast Europe. So, that's your answer for the first question. We go on to next question. Which was the last successful foreign invasion of England that took place in 1066? So if we took, uh, talk about this foreign invasion, which took place in 1066, so how many options we have? Viking invasion, Anglo-Saxon conquest, the Roman invasion, or the Norman conquest? So, if we talk about this question, this question gives us an indication that we had four different foreign invaders who invaded England in different time periods. So, for this one, the answer is the last successful foreign invasion was the Norman Conquest. French, they invaded England in 1066. So, that was a last foreign invasion. We go to question number three. Under which king did Anglo-Saxon kingdom in England unite to defeat Vikings? So we got the options. William of Orange, King Alfred the Great, Henry VIII, Robert the Bruce. So for this question, the option is King Alfred the Great. So that's your answer. Number four, who led the first invasion of Britain? So who were the first invaders? Emperor Hadrian, Julius Caesar, Canute, or William the Duke of Normandy? So the first foreign invasion, if we talk about that, that was Julius Caesar. He was a Roman king and he invaded England in BC, 55 BC, for that was not successful. So question number five is, who was the tribal leader who fought against Romans? So if you talk about some uh, tribal leaders, one of them was very brave. So here are the options. Was it Cleopatra, Claudia, Bodica, or St. Augustine? So it was Queen Bodica. Question number six is what battle is commemorated in Bay of Tapestry. So the options are Battle of Waterloo, Battle of Trafalgar, Battle of Hastings, or the Battle of Britain. So this painting was the commemoration of Battle of Hastings. That's your answer. Who made the first coins to be minted in Britain? The options are the people of Stone Age, the Anglo-Saxons, the people of Iron Age, or the Romans. So when the first coins were minted in Britain, that was people of Iron Age. They had a very sophisticated culture. So they had their first coins minted. 
Question number eight asks you about two options. Which two of the following records give us information about England during the reign of William I? So, William I was uh, a king of England who was basically from France. So here we have the options. Magna Carta, Doomsday Book, the Bay of Tapestry, or the Canterbury Tales. So the options are in front of you. So which two of the following records give us information that how was England back in that days? So we have the Doomsday Book, which was a list where the names of the people were included, where the names of animals, the names of lands, everything. And the second is Bay of Tapestry. So guys, question number nine is, who were the first people to live in Britain in what we call the Stone Age? Were they farmers, peasants, hunter-gatherers, or they were pirates? So, they were hunter-gatherers. So these people used to hunt uh, horses. They used to hunt deer. When was the last successful foreign invasion of England? So this question is about the date. So when did the last foreign invasion took place? Was it in 1415? Was it in 1314 or 1066 or 1200? So that was in 1066. That's your answer to question number 10. What English king introduced the Doomsday Book? So who, in, who introduced this Doomsday Book for the first time? So Doomsday Book basically was a list of names of the people, the towns, animals who uh, owned the land, so just to get an idea. So these are the options, King Henry V, King Henry IV, William the Conqueror, Harold the Saxon King of England. So the answer for this question is, once again, William the Conqueror, who came from Normandy, which is the north of France, and invaded England in 1066. Next question is number 12. Who built a wall in the north of England to keep out Picts? Who were Picts? They were the ancestors of Scottish people. Whether was that person Queen Bodica, Emperor Hadrian, Emperor Claudius, or Julius Caesar? So this wall was built, still we can see this wall, some of the remains of this wall uh, at the border of England and Scotland. So he was King Hadrian or Emperor Hadrian. Question number 13. Which two languages combine to become one English language? So in simple words, which two languages were the basis of English language? So we need to choose two options, make sure. So options are Latin, was it Latin language? Was it Anglo-Saxon? First option is Anglo-Saxon. And the second option is Norman French. So gradually these two languages combined together became one English language. When was the Doomsday Book written? After the Viking invasion? After the Norman conquest? After Roman invasion? Or after the Anglo Saxon invasion? So the answer is after the Norman conquest in William's time. Question number 15 is when were the first coins in Britain made? The options are Stone Age, Bronze Age. Iron Age, the Middle Ages. 
So the options are there, and the answer for this question is Iron Age. Iron Age people, they had very sophisticated culture. Question number 16 is, what was inscribed in the first coins to be minted in Britain during the Iron Age? But now here the question is slightly different, that what was inscribed on that? What was written on them? Coins. The options are the name of Iron Age kings, the names of trees, the names of Iron Age gods, or the names of animals. The names of Iron Age kings were inscribed on them. Coins. That's your answer for question number 16. Who defeated the Vikings? Vikings were one of the invaders. So who defeated them? The options are King Harold, Edward I of England, King Arthur, King Alfred the Great. So your answer for this question is King Alfred the Great. Question number 18 is, which of the following monuments is located in Wiltshire? Wiltshire is one of the counties in England. So which one uh, of the famous monument is in Wiltshire? Hadrian's Wall, St. Paul's Cathedral, Nelson's Column, Stonehenge. So the answer for this question is Stonehenge. Who was the first Archbishop of Canterbury? St. Patrick, St. Augustine, St. Andrew, or St. Columba? So the answer for this question is St. Augustine. Question number 20 is, when did the first farmers come to Britain? 10,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, 15,000 years ago, or 4,000 years ago. Quite interesting options. So the first farmers came to Britain uh, 6,000 years ago. That's your answer for this question. Which two of these forts were parts of Hadrian's Wall? So which uh, two of these four options? So the first option is Vindolanda, Maiden Castle, Housestead, and Grimsby. So your four options, we have to choose two answers. So the first one is Vindolanda, and the second one is House steps. Question number 22. Which tribe came to Britain from Northern Europe after the Romans left in AD 410? So if you talk about 410 AD when Romans departed, when Romans left after 400 years, they did not come back. They never returned. So who came after them? The Jutes, the Vikings, the Romans, or the Burgundians? So the options are there, but the answer is here. Who was the first Danish king? King Alfred the Great, Canute. William the Conqueror, Julius Caesar. These are the four options, and your answer is the first Danish king was Canute. How long did the Romans remain in Britain? So what was the time period for how many centuries or how many years did Romans stay in Britain? 200 years, 400 years, 600 years or for 1,000 years. Romans stayed in Great Britain 
for 400 years. Romans changed the structure of law. They changed the public buildings and they introduced some plants and animals as well. We have our Facebook page as well. So you can access our Facebook page. And if you want to do online classes, you can join us through Facebook page and you can see our past results as well. Thank you very much for your time and thanks for watching this video. So guys, this was all about your early Britain. If you still have some question, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.